finally this is the last day of uh, our goa trip and we are heading back home so the time is 7 again late plan to uh, leave at 6 but now it's 6:55 6:56 but anyways uh, the time to our destination shows 11 hours and 47 minutes and uh, Let's see how much time it takes. Just uh, 
stopped at that place, had some breakfast, uh, one cha, cup of chai and Maggi, that's enough. And uh, finally uh, did that battery thing again and now the GoPro is working fine. So we are still on the Amboli Ghat. Let's see, I mean, Ghat is beautiful and uh, riding on this Ghat is so much fun. Like there are twists and turns after every like a minute. Even a minute, like 30 30 seconds, uh, you find twists and turns. So, look at that man. Look at that. Look at that view. Oh, 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 oh. Now, the sun is out like properly. It's 10 o'clock. Mira? Light to get. up the petrol because the fuel uh, is almost like nothing left on the red line so started with half tank and now we are here Thank you. 
maybe if Himalayan makes, makes the 650 twin Himalayan, maybe that. Or I'm really excited for the KTM 790 and the 890 Adventure R. So, I'm not saying that I'm going to buy those bikes, but you know, if I was looking for to buy such bikes, those would be my preferable options. And I really like the Triumph uh, Tiger 900 Rally Pro. Anyways, again coming back to reality, now that we have the Himalayan, so much fun, you know. The only problem with x is that you can't cruise on a highway. Like even Himalayan feels a bit underpowered when cruising on a highway. Like you can't go above 110, you have to push really really hard to go above that speed. But, uh, but otherwise the Himalayan is like most comfortable bike I can say in this segment. Uh, I've heard a lot of KTM 390 owners uh, complaining about the seat being too stiff but the most comfortable of them all I've heard from reviews and all that is of the BMW 310GS. But again like uh, 310GS is a bit underpowered so and again it, it has the lowest displacement of the three competitors so can make out and plus you're paying a hefty amount for the BMW badge and also for its maintenance so the Himalayan makes a perfect gateway between these bikes because it's cheaper cheapest of them all maintenance is low spare parts are low <laughs> the first car my building is trying to steal one of the sugar cane. Very unsuccessful attempt there. 